So what I'm going to do now is install the Web Quick Start. Um, there's actually two different options for you with regards to how you go about doing that. Um, there's a manual install which effectively um, requires you to copy the Quick Start files into the appropriate locations. Or alternatively, you can use the Alfresco installers, which now will have the option to install the Quick Start um, out of the box. So the Web Quick Start was designed as an out-the-box um, sample application demonstrating web content management with Alfresco. So as part of that um, out-the-box package, we provide um, three sort of key components of, of web content management. So firstly, there's the editorial facilities. Um, now the Quick Start uses Alfresco Share for editing content. Um, so it's within the share collaboration environments you can manage your um, website structure, the content, the URLs, um, and everything around the, the editorial environment. Um, the Quick Start also provides a sample publishing mechanism, so allowing content authors to edit content um, without affecting the live version or the publicly viewable version of the website. And the last major component is the, the actual website itself. So the Quick Start provides um, an out-of-the-box web application built using Spring MVC, Spring Surf, um, and Open CMIS. Um, and that really allows you to literally switch the product on, as you'll see, um, and to have the end-to-end the -end, um, web content management experience. The other um, sort of key part or reasoning behind the Quick Start was to to literally provide um, a production strength starting point for an enterprise implementation. So um, if you do want to take the, the Quick Start, it's really been designed to be um, a best practice example of, of using Alfresco for web content management um, and therefore can be taken um, as a starting point for, for your implementation. So just before we start the installation, I'm just going to point out very quickly where the documentation can be found for the Quick Start. Um, if you go to the Alfresco Wiki and look at the page Web Quick Start, you'll see that the three different documents that are available um, are linked here. So firstly, the top one is the Install and Configuration Guide, and this covers both the manual and the um, installer-based install. Um, so definitely one that's, that's relevant to this presentation. The second one down is the um, the Quick Start user guide, and this is effectively aimed at um, non-technical content authors who are going to be using Share um, for their obviously managing the web content. And this is available both as an HTML version or a PDF version. So um, if you want a an easily downloadable PDF, there's a, there's that option available to you as well. And finally, there's the Quick Start Developer Guide, and this really goes into quite a lot of detail um, about how the Quick Start was built, um, and then obviously how it can be extended. So all I've done um, is downloaded the appropriate installer file. So if you go to alfresco.com um, and then select either Enterprise or Community as required, um, you'll see that there's both 32-bit and 64-bit installers available for both Windows and Linux. So this system that I'm working on at the moment, I've pulled down the Windows 64-bit installer um, and save that to my desktop. Um, and that's the, the installer file there that I can just start. So I'm just going to double click that file to start the installation. And I'm going to click next. And you can see here we can have the option to select um, the appropriate components for this install. Now the third highlighted option down is the web quick start, so we obviously need that one. I'm not going to install anything else in this case, um, just for this example, but it's worth noting the open office option at the bottom. If you haven't already got it installed, which I have on this system, um, it's a requirement for the web quick start to do some of the renditions and transformations. Going to click next. I have the option to do a an easier or an advanced install. So if you have, um, if you want to set custom ports and things of that nature, go with the advanced option. Um, destination of where my Afresco installation is going to go. I'm going to stay with the default on my C drive. And would I like to install my SQL? I'm going to say yes. And my SQL server root password. Let's drop that in. And then a password for the Alfresco administrator account. 
and that's effectively it. So the installation is going to take a few minutes because it's doing a, a full alfresco installation, um, all the different components, um, obviously the database. So we'll, we'll just let that run through. So once that's started up, and it will take a few minutes on the first installation, um, you should be prompted to localhost um, on the default port of 8080 slash share, and that will take us to the share login prompt. Um, so I'm going to log in here with a password that I configured as part of the installation. And this, of, of course, is a, a default Alfresco share installation. Um, so in order to create ourselves a quick start site, we just create a, a default collaboration site. Let's give that a name. And so in order to now turn this collaboration site into a um, import the sample quick start data, we can customize the dashboard. And if the quick start has been installed properly, if you click on the add dashlets in the center of the page, you should see the web quick start dashlet is available to us. So we can add that into um, our own site dashboard. I'm going to delete the getting started and press OK. And you can now see we're presented with this, this dashlet on the left hand side here. Um, and this is really just allows us to import the sample quick start data. Um, so with this version there's there's two different types of site we can import um, government or finance and these are effectively um, right now the functionality is actually identical so the only difference is really um, are the the images used um, sort of the, the section headings and things of that nature so you won't be um, sort of missing certain features if you install one as opposed to another um, so I'm going to install the government one it's worth noting this is actually um, a good example of how you can package your own websites um, and allow people to to create new sites with them. So um, the dev guide does actually cover how we built that dashlet and, and how you can import your own files. So what that's doing is actually importing content, um, the sample site structure into the document library. So we can go and have a look in there once that's completed. Um, and I'm going to click on show folders. Obviously, this is the first, uh, this is the default install, so setting our preferences up. I'm also going to click on the um, simple view to sort of compress the, the folder view a, a bit more. So you can see here we've got the Alfresco quick start, and if I drill down into there, you can see we've got the editorial and the live environments. And, and this is to do with our, our publishing mechanism, which I'll be covering in, in a later webinar. But if I go into editorial and into the root, um, you can see our, our, our example contents. We've got blog, contact news, publications. Um, so at this point, we can actually go ahead and hit the website. So if I open up a, a new browser window, and again, um, just hit localhost, but this time um, hitting the quick start web application, so WCMQS, um, the actual front end website is, is then rendered. Um, so that we can have a look around. We have a new section, home page, publications, blog, um, contact us, um, and that's the default site. So the last thing that I'm going to show here is just um, how you can edit the configuration options around setting the host and port. So if you're running on a, a different machine other than local host or a different port um, or a different web app context, you can easily adjust those within the Quick Start editorial environment. So if we go back to share, and I'm going to navigate to the um, Quick Start editorial section. So just under Alfresco Quick Start, Quick Start. Um, you'll see the editorial and the live folders and if you edit the metadata on the editorial site um, you can see that there's a number of configuration options in there so if I've got um, the host name there can be set so if it's something different to local host um, the port and also the web app context if you need to change that for any particular reason um, so you can just adjust those settings save them away um, and configure them for for your needs